Lafia. Hello. Hope everybody is doing great. Uh, it's Sunday and uh, December the 5th. And, uh, you know, we're here uh, in my studio. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to basically uh, do some readings uh, from uh, the Arisha, uh, Arisha Tarot uh, deck. You know, first card that came up uh, in the deck is the man, uh, naked, just as he was born, you know. Um, uh, he represents essence. Uh, his position, therefore, is like that of a uh, five-pointed star because five are his senses, five directions in which he moves, north, south, west, east, and center. The five elements he needs to live, the fifth being his soul or spirit. He directs his, uh, his five terminal points, the head, two upper extremities, two lower extremities, and uh, to the five points of the star to reach the uh, five lines of the pentagram and thus the spiritual dimension. Because as a symbol, a star of five points represents the central manifestation of light or the mystical center. The star is a magical symbol that has been with us from the beginning of time. And in our conceptions and works, ideals and dreams, the star is the image of dreams or the idolation of a dream or an intense and fervent desire, you know. So uh, it's time to, you know, to, to go ahead and uh, get those dreams together. Uh, whatever is inside you to do, whatever you know that you are on this earth to accomplish, you know, it is uh, time to get that done. You know, uh, this is a symbol of energy. Uh, it represents a star that led the three magi from the east to Bethlehem. The five pointed star in this position indicates balance and strength and, and striving for human perfection. It represents good. You know, uh, you know, this is all about your favorable uh, prospects. Uh, you know, it's the uh, quality of the soul. Uh, it's about creation, inspiration, creativity, mentalism, psychism, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's just really time to uh, you know, hit it, you know, hit it, level up, you know, the things that we, and, and you know, and, and this is so much uh, pertaining to me, you know, uh, you know, to get, get away from any of those fears, you know, any of those blocks, whatever they are, you know, to go down into the shadow part and find out, you know, uh, what's going on there and, you know, eliminate it, you know, uh, you know, go beyond it, you know, and, uh, hey, you know, it's just that it manifests. Yeah. So this is what this card represents. It's called the man and, you know, and you are the man or you are the woman, you know, it, 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 it doesn't matter, you know, and, uh, the next card that I pull is the sun. The sun, you know. Uh, this card, this card represents, uh, this card is covered by a, a big sun with a diverse, uneven rays, which gives us the idea of a lively, unstill, mobile sun. Two equal arms extended from the center. Uh, forming two equal sides of a pyramid and leading to the center of the two quite different suns. Two suns. Second sun. 
Think about that. The sun on the left seems more powerful and creative, while the sun on the uh, right consists of of a side-by-side -side rays from an endless cycle of ways of path. The center of the pyramid holds a crux, a symbol of life, an ancient of ancient Egypt, the Ankh. As an active masculine and yang principle, the source of light, the power, the sun governs the solar system, which gives its name from the sun. All of us uh, revolve around the sun. According to Yoruba people, the sun is the source of energy, but as the, uh, in the case of the moon, he is not acknowledged as the uh, Orisha. That is, they were never specially worshipped as such. Given the luminosity and the great energy, power, and, and being of access to life giving, the sun is uh, interrelated with uh, Obatala or Ozala, who is offered both white flowers uh, and uh, sunflowers. The latter has believed to, to have great beneficial powers because they are always looking toward the king of stars. The sun was worshiped by another African culture, the ancient Egyptians. In another version of death of Osiris, the sun is murdered by Seth. Well, Osiris is uh, murdered by Seth, while Isis, his widow, or, or Osiris, is kidnapped and imprisoned for a subsequent marriage of the god of darkness. Thoth, the god of magic, self-created, possessing the secret of death, knew words of uh, resurrection and helped Isis to free herself, giving her the power to resuscitate her husband Osiris. Isis and Osiris have two children, two sons. One was called Horus, conceived by the father of death, and the other one is Hippocrates, conceived by after Osiris's resurrection. Um, you know, this is these uh, mythological stories. Uh, you know, uh, later on I have to do a video and we, you know, and just get deeper into these stories over that. Uh, you know, this card represents success in, uh, in, in your professional marital or extramarital marital love life or in any event or situation you are growing or going through. Since the sun is the creator, he affords us greater power and an act of science, twins, duplicity, uh, the duplication of factors, the, the double, the fortune, you know. So, you know, this is uh, the life giver, you know. You know, this is, this is energy that is, uh, is, you know, uh, leveling up, you know. So, uh, you know, that, is, that was uh, the third card that I pulled here is Iku. Iku, a skeleton covered by a uh, hooded black cloak down, down to his feet. We see this figure is not standing on the ground and is surrounded by nothing. The image of no space and no time. She's timeless. She doesn't seem to be affected by uh, hours, minutes, days. Nevertheless, she exists. But she does not consider where to place her bones. It could be a castle, a house, a hospital, or an uh, institute, or a shack. She's hiding a sickle in one hand, in one of her hands, and a sharp cutting instrument with which she 
cuts off situations or things, bringing them to an end. She arrives without regard to age, sex, color, social standing, role, society, or financial position. The ancient African believed that she was the soul of the deceased person, uh, of a deceased person had to cross over to the river, a belief similar to that of the ancient Romans and Greeks, who thought that their deceased traveled over the river Styx before reaching the last stage corresponding to the, uh, to the behavior of this world. Before the burial, the body was washed in special herbs to liberate and purify it according to the spiritual affinity in between the deceased. He was shaved, dressed in uh, best clothes and jewelry, and then placed in a tomb, which his dearest possessions, uh, belongings, with food to feed himself during the trip to the world beyond. This is mummification. Uh, his heart was mounted and tried to, and to respect even the slightest detail to avoid offering or disturbing the spirit. For example, avoiding the use of special uh, luxurious ornaments and instead wearing ragged, worn out, or torn clothes, a symbol of uh, Ugun which means dead or spirit of death. Other examples include purposely neglecting the hair of the shoes, doing minimal housekeeping, avoiding bathing oneself, etc. This is done so that the uh, bereaved understands the pain of affliction and of the deceased. At present, both Santeria Devotion and veneration and respect for saints of the Orisha and Condoble, uh, a certain order of African cults, normally use a cord of protection against the uh, Kiumbats for these uh, for seven days. And uh, this is prepared and hallowed through uh, protective layers with the uh, Paha is uh, made into bread. In Nigeria, the Yoruba hold a rite every year to remember the dead. They dance with masks and colorful tunics, the cadence, cadence of rhythm and uh, the dancer, and the songs wrap them in mystical halo and a, a communion with those who have departed. Is a, a goon goon ceremony. This card represents an ending of something, uh, strains and transmutation, metamorphosis, sign of uh, disease, peak of something, transformation into another thing, renewal, danger or loss of crisis, death of a thing through a situation, feeling, condition, etc. A goon. So we're going through a transformation based upon a death of uh, what we're used to dealing with. And uh, things are changing and, uh, you know, changing globally. And whether we want it to change or not, it's going to change. So, and also, uh, there's going to be a change within our lives, you know. Hold on just a minute. Let me get uh, Rocky. You know.
Sorry about that. You know, sometimes uh, Rocky, uh, you know, he has this little allergies or whatnot, you know, and he starts uh, scratching and and going through what he goes through. So, uh, you know, time for the tinfoil. This next card is fire, three of fire. Uh, three torches in the night form an equilateral triangle and illuminate a sack full of glittering gold igots. It is as if they are escorting the wealth of these igots, which shine, which shine not only because of their own nature, but also because of the light of the three torches. You know, and and this is about income. This is about, you know, money coming. Obtained as a result of cooperation and great effort. Power, nobility, fortune. Influential people will cooperate or associate with you. Freedom and autonomy in any undertaking for the torches represents the power of your free will and the strength of your spirit. So, you know, this this really applies to the times, you know, it really applies to the fact that uh, it is time for us to uh, figure out how to uh, create, you know, uh, abundance, income, uh, whether it's like uh, various streams of income uh, or whatever, you know, but uh, it's time for us to do it through our own spirit and not wait for uh, some other situation uh, outside of ourselves in order to uh, do this for us, you know, so this is, uh, it's time to to meditate and and think this out and figure it out and listen to the spirit that's inside that tells us that it's, it's time to uh, to start that business. Time to start that business, you know. And, and the last card here that I got is the uh, four of fire. You know, four members of family walk arm in arm towards the sea, as if forming a uh, chain of strength and union. All of them are dressed in white, and each carries a lighted pale blue candle to the limits of the kingdom of Yemaya, to thank her for her happiness received. Thankfulness and recognition of all favors. This is what this card is about. Help the co cooperation received collectively or individually, but representing the majority, social, family, community, or a work group. Humility is associated or connected. Acts which gradually and systematically bring prosperity, happiness, joy, and peace. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just basically we're not going to be able to do this alone, you know. I mean, you know, it's just that, like, uh, we're just we're going to be able to, we're going to have to hook up and, uh, and uh, you say, hey, you know, it's just, you know, form some type of union, form type some type of situation where uh, we're all working together. Uh, to create which what we need to create you know and uh, so you know and <laughs> for that to work we have to get along together and, and find a way within our hearts you know in order to uh, create what you call a harmonious relationship of uh, prosperity you know so and and the magic word is uh, autonomous you know uh, 
before I go, it was just kind of like, uh, I'm kind of working on, on a piece here. I don't know if you can see it, you know, but uh, the piece is, is gonna be a warrior of Hogun, you know. Uh, he's a, an angelic warrior. Although uh, I got this gun here, you know, that uh, uh, kind of represents uh, the spirit of Ogun in our world, in this uh, uh, dispensation, you know. I mean, there's a weapon here that I'm, I'm working on, his spear uh, or whatever, you know. But Ogun represents uh, stuff that's dealing with metals and and iron and uh, also it deals with technology uh, it deals with uh, weapons of protection uh, it, it, it deals with uh, uh, you know those things that we're, we're going to uh, need in order to help uh, protect elevate uh, uh, and uh, to level up to a point where, uh, you know, so, and sometimes they're just, you know, like, hey, just metal. Some, some of the stuff could be even just boring, you know. It's just like learning how to uh, uh, get on the internet and start a uh, uh, internet business or, or something like that, you know, it's just that, but, uh, you know, but Ogun represents all of those things in terms of, uh, you know, it just, it's just time to uh, level up in, in the technological sense, you know. So, uh, so basically, I, you know, I'm not going to make this this long. I just wanted to, uh, you know, talk about some things and talk about the energies that are in the ether and, and, uh, and everything and do a real quick... Uh, Arisha Terrell uh, reading. Uh, so, uh, again, you know, it's just that I uh, hope that you have a uh, wonderful Sunday and wonderful week. This is we, December, is getting close to Christmas, and, you know, and, uh, well, we all know what, what, is, what is happening. You know, it's just that, you know, the greatest thing is just to slow down still and, and uh, get in that that balance in order to uh, know which way to go and so until then you know you have a great day bye